Well, we have just heard from Israel's military, the Israeli Defence Forces, that have released a public statement saying that they have eliminated the leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, claiming that he was assassinated in these strikes on Beirut in the last 24 hours. Uh, we haven't heard anything from Hezbollah yet, which indeed has been fueling speculation about his condition, whether or not he was even in the building, whether he was injured or killed. But it does now appear, according to Israel's military, that Hassan Nasrallah has been killed. If this is true, then this would signal a major escalation. Effectively now, Hezbollah's entire leadership has been eliminated. Israel, over the last few weeks, has been uh, crumbling that leadership through assassinations and airstrikes. The question now is whether or not Iran, the major Hezbollah backer, will step in to this fight in launching some sort of a retaliation uh, in what would surely escalate this situation into a dangerous new territory, potentially catapulting this into a full-out regional war. Explosions ricochet through Beirut's southern suburbs. An unprecedented five hours of continuous attacks as Israel zones in on what it says are Hezbollah bases in Lebanon's capital. This is an urgent and serious warning. Intensive strikes levelling the Iran-backed group's command centre and residential buildings. Where several senior officials are believed to have been meeting, including Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. We knew it was a big target because the explosion was huge. Nearby, children are rescued from the ruins of an apartment building. Civilian casualty numbers in the densely populated area are still unclear. The IDF claims Hezbollah is hiding its missiles inside civilian infrastructure, which Hezbollah has denied. Three buildings with designated underground spaces for storing strategic weapons, with the buildings above acting as a shield. The blasts have forced thousands onto the streets, congregating in parks and on footpaths. We barely managed to grab our identification papers and leave. Highways are inundated by residents heading north. As many as 30,000 are believed to have fled into Syria in the past three days. Many have expressed concerns about experiencing a situation similar to Gaza. In northern Israel, dozens of missiles light up the sky as rockets fired by Hezbollah in retaliation are intercepted by the Iron Dome. This escalation fueling fears of a potential ground invasion by Israel that could push this conflict into an all-out war.